Hey everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I am going to open my new PR package from Lime Life Planners. I recently joined their PR team and this is the first uh, package that we have received and I'm really excited to be bringing a lot of these products to you all because I know a lot of us are looking for you know new ideas for what planners we're going to use in 2021 and I'm really excited to see what's in here so I thought I would go ahead and do an unboxing with you all you can see I opened up the package because uh, it was still pretty good and I didn't want to be struggling with it on camera so let's go ahead and take a look at everything that is inside now uh, I will obviously have links down below for everything and oh yeah lots of goodies really pretty paper okay lots of tissue paper okay I do see a letter here Okay, so I wanted to look over the little uh, letter inside to make sure there wasn't anything on there that I wasn't supposed to show or something, but it looks like everything is all good. So now Lime Life makes, makes things for uh, ring planners and also traveler's notebooks. So I ordered some things for uh, my A5 ring planner and also for my traveler's notebook. But so we don't get too overwhelmed with everything that's going on, I will start with the ringed planner inserts. Now, it was a while ago when I picked these things out, so I'm not even exactly sure <laughs> what I got, but I will definitely open it up and let you guys know. So it looks like this is, I'm guessing these are the weekly or dailies, and maybe this is the monthly. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Um, where is, oh, here we go. Now, Lime Life Planners, I'm very familiar with the brand, but I myself have actually uh, never used the Lime Life planners. Well, you know what? I take that back. I think, I think someone gave me one at uh, Go Wild last year, or they gave me some inserts or something. I can't remember. But okay, so oh, this is nice. Okay, so we have. I really like how sharp and crisp. The print is on here I really like that so what I'm seeing we have a habit tracker here I, you know I probably should be talking through this uh, let me year at a glance 2020 2021 emergency or contacts here then we have the habit tracker here and then it looks like yearly planning here Then we have, I think, yes, I uh, chose to start in September. And this is a month on two pages. Obviously, we're almost at the end of September, so I probably won't be using that. And then I have October here and so on. So it looks like I've got the month on two pages, which takes me all the way to June of 2021. Oh yeah, okay, so that's what these inserts are. These are month on two page inserts. And then, oh, so this takes me to August 2021. I stand corrected. And then you also get a notes 
<coughs> excuse me, a notes section, and I have the dot grid. Now I can't remember if I chose the dot grid or if it just comes with the dot grid. I think I may have chosen the dot grid because that's one of my favorite, um, you know, I guess layouts. Okay, so we've got the month on two pages for the A5 inserts. And I want to make sure that I show this very clearly because I really want you guys to be able to see. So you have Sunday Start, and I think you can choose. Uh, you also have a note section here, and then you have some nice, you know, nice big boxes to write stuff down. And then you also get the dividers, which have the month tab here. All right, so that is the month on two pages layout. Next we have, I think this is either the weekly or the daily. We're going to find out together. Okay, so you get the same uh, stuff at the beginning, year at a glance, contacts, habit tracker, then you get the yearly, you know, plan it out pages, and then again, starting with September, okay, so you also get the month on two pages here, I didn't know that. Ah, this is the weekly layout. Now, I chose this layout because this one looked really interesting to me, and I hope you guys can see that without, you know, too much of a glare or anything. But you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, then you have a habit tracker here. You also have a calendar, a little place for notes, more notes there, and a list here. So this is going to be fun. I'm actually going to start using this this week and let you guys know how I like it. Now I also chose the neutral color layout, meaning uh, I just wanted black and white, but you can also choose this in kind of like a rainbow color palette, you know, design if, if you want. Uh, the paper is really nice, feels really smooth. Okay, and then it goes right into the same thing for October. So basically, this is a week on two pages, and you have several different design layouts to choose from. Okay, and I can't remember what this one is, but I will have it linked down below in case you do want to order this one. And then, this goes all the way to August of 2021, just like the others, for the other one I showed you, and then you have uh, notes pages in the back and this is the dot grid okay so that is the week on two pages layout now I also ordered some I want to say this is a b6 size it doesn't look like a b6 size and it doesn't look like a standard size uh, TN. But, because I'm pretty sure I used the B, you know, the B6. I would have ordered the B6. But anyway, I will show you guys how these are. Now, you can choose your cover design. I chose the marble because I really liked how neutral it was. And this is the first page here. You will never find time for anything. If you want time, you must make it. Oh, I like that. Okay, this is also a week on two page layout. You can see it starts Monday here, goes to Sunday down here. And then you also have lines on both pages for notes. And this is undated, so you can use it and start it whenever. And then when you get to the back, you have a note page here. It has lined and then dot grid on the bottom. And I think I got, oh no, I got different ones. I remember this one is the quotes layout. Oh, 
Oh, this one is the habit tracker layout. So you have daily tasks, weekly tasks. Oh, this this will be really good for my uh, weight loss. Well, I should say weight loss, more like exercise. And then uh, I have uh, this is like a blank. You got half, you know, half and half pages here, lined on top, dot grid on the bottom. Perfect for taking notes, doing whatevs. Okay. Now again, I'm kind of confused on this size because it doesn't look like a B6 size. I'm gonna um, grab a a TN and C. But let me show you. Oh, this is the B6 size. So I'm confused as to what size this is. Because it's a little bit taller. And I don't know if it's a standard or an A5. Hmm. Oh well. I'll figure it out. Okay, so let's take a look at these. I might have gotten the same. Yeah, I think I did. I got the same. Um, design or you know layouts for the b6 size as well so you can see half and half dot grid aligned this is the uh, monthly or I should say the tracker insert this one is the week on two pages same layout And then this one is the quotes. Yeah, so I did get the same exact inserts, just in different size. So I'm wondering if this one is a half letter. Okay, sorry guys, I went to grab my uh, notebooks here. Okay, so obviously this is the B6 size. This is my B6 Moterm. And then this is my standard size TN, and I don't think this is... Yeah, this one is not really a standard size TN because it's a little bit wider, but I don't think it's an A5 either. But it looks like you could use it for an A5. But you know, I could use this in my Webster's pages. That's probably where I'll use this because I think it will fit. So, okay. So once I get that set up, I will definitely share it with you guys. So, you know, you can see how they fit in the Traveler's Notebook. And, and I'll have more specifics on the exact size, you know, so we can, you know, figure it out together and I can let you know exactly how I'm using it now uh, this is I'm not sure if this is something um, that I ordered but let's take a look oh how cute okay this is a notepad oh how nice okay so this is not something that was part of my order but it has a laminated animal print is that leopard or cheetah print a cover and it is laminated and then the inside has dot grid paper this is something I'll definitely use dot grid all the way through and then on the back it has Lime Life Planner so that's really sweet and then uh, she threw in this cute little <laughs> pack of unicorn mixed jelly bellies that's really sweet let me open this and I apologize for the rattling of the um, cellophane bag okay so we have the unicorn mixed jelly bellies and we have a pen loop, an adhesive pen loop. We also have some date dots, calendar circles, she calls them. And then 
this is a checklist. Checklists are my love language. Looks like this is for an A5 notebook, which I will definitely, or I should say, you know, A5 binder. So I'll definitely be using that. It's laminated and it looks like you can, you know, use the dry erase marker or even like a Sharpie and then use alcohol or whatever to wipe it off. So that is my Lime Life Planners PR package. Uh, I'm really excited, like I said, to get these things in my planner rotation and in my planner setup so I can let you all know how I'm liking them, how I'm using them, and, you know, just really, you know, kind of come strong as we move into 2021. And if you guys have any questions about Lime Life Planners, or if you have used Lime Life Planners, please drop them down in the comment section below because I would love to get your feedback and get your opinions on this stuff. And let me know, you know, how you like it, how you're using it, uh, what you're planning to maybe buy for 2021. Coming up probably in the next week, I will do a setup of my A5 binder using these, and I will also have another video uh, setting up my traveler's notebooks using the inserts I have here. So uh, if you have any questions, like I said, feel free to drop them down in the comment section below. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. All right, everyone, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Bye.